All right now we want to get to that story about high school girls competing in flag football. Here's Denver 7's Colette Bordelon. Win or lose. Pass! It's all about playing this game. It's fun, it's fast, it's rough. Especially when you get to the championships. I feel nervous uh, and I also feel good. But I think we're going to do pretty well today. And when these Colorado high schools take the field. This is our first year ever doing five football. They're making history with every play. We didn't have this for my freshman year. It's just kind of cool to be able to say like, oh yeah, I'm a girl who plays football. So we have Denver East, which will play their first game at 315 versus Eagle Crest. Bobby Mestis is the Broncos director of youth and high school football. A big part of my job is trying to find ways to grow the game of football in Colorado and girls high school flag is really starting to boom in other parts of the country. The first year of this pilot was funded by Denver Broncos Charities with three school districts, 25 teams and more than 500 players. Next year the plans to grow um, but sort of keep our formula the same and then hopefully by fall of 2024 we're a full sanctioned Shasta sport. Girls flag football is fully sanctioned at the high school level in seven states, and Mestis hopes Colorado is one of the next on the list. Anytime you can give girls more opportunity to play a high school sport, that's a win. Men can't just always have that one sport. With these teens leading the way. I think it's really cool because now that uh, we've started it, I feel like it's going to continue to grow and grow and the program will get bigger and bigger, which is like a really cool opportunity for women and girls all around. A win for all the women who come next. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. And the Broncos plan to work with Chassa on creating a pilot program next year. And the Broncos estimate it would cost between three and four thousand dollars per school to get the girls flag football program fully started by the 2024 season. And we'll be right back.